Hey Fragrance Family, I'm David, I'm the Fragrance Bro. Welcome to part two of my aftershaves video. Now my first aftershaves video, I talked about my five favorite aftershaves. Today I'm gonna to talk about all the aftershaves that I've tried recently, and uh, I've had a couple of companies send me some things, so I just wanna talk about those. So my first one, I just wanna mention Lilac Vegetal again, and I know that there's some fans of this one. This one is really, really kind of kind of not good. <laughs> There's definitely like some kind of civet note in there and it's very, um, it's like an animalic green uh, musky scent. I guess there's lilac in here, but it's not floral. It's just strange. Uh, like I said before, my granddad, he wore this a lot. So, um, man, it's for an older crowd for sure. Of course, my previous one I mentioned, the Aqua Velva 5-in-1. This one is my favorite. It's a lotion type of product aftershave. Uh, go check that out. I talk about more in the other video, but that one is really definitely worth checking out. Okay, so first let's talk about Captain's Choice. Really like this company. Um, I really like, first of all, I like the bottles. And they have some simple fragrances fragrances that I really like. And as I said before, a lot of their fragrances go on really smooth. They don't burn or sting, most of them, except for one, which I'll talk about in a minute. And uh, this one is Bay Rum. Bay Rum is a very classic aftershave. Smells very familiar. It has Bay Rum. Um, I believe there's a little bit of clove in there. This one has, I think, a little bit of vanilla. It's not as strong on the spices, but it definitely has an herbal, spicy kick to it. Next is North which I almost put in uh, my last video. North is fantastic. Now on the front there is like juniper berries on there and this does have a juniper berry type of smell. It's not super, super strong in juniper berry, but it also has uh, an evergreen type of feel to it. So there's, it does smell kind of like a forest. This reminds me a lot of Juniper Ridge. A lot of their scents, which are very, very just all natural from straight from the forest, straight from the tree. This kind of has that, and I really like that for that reason. Next is sandalwood, and this one's nice. It's a soft, woody scent, but it doesn't really smell like sandalwood, and I want to get that out of the way. Now, I'm sure that there are different varieties of sandalwood, so maybe this has one of those varieties, but it's a little bit on the lighter side, and it doesn't have that almost sour powderiness that a lot of really good sandalwood has, which is fine. It's just a light woody scent. The one that I was really talking about, which is kind of their infamous one, is Cat of Nine Tails, which maybe you know, Cat of Nine Tails was a torture weapon. It was a whip and uh, it had really nasty things on it, like piece of bones and glass and metal shards and stuff like that. On the front it says, feel the burn. Now, this is like Bay Rum Extreme, as they say on their website. And it does kind of have that type of smell. Um, I like it more than the regular Bay Rum, and I actually really like this. It does sting. It has a good burn, if you know what I mean. <laughs> it has a cinnamon clove type of smell. There's something in the background that almost smells smoky, almost incensey. It's really nice. Of course, Lime, which I also mentioned before, and this is my favorite from their line, and it's just a simple Lime scent. And Lime can sometimes be a couple different themes, things. It can be really rindy and sharp, or it can be very soft and subdued. I like the more soft and subdued kind more. I think it has a little bit more of a complex flavor and smell to it. This is that, and it's not sharp, and it just goes on really smooth, really nice, feels great, smells fantastic. Really, really love this one. If you get any from Captain's Choice, I think this is his their best. Now they have a whole bunch of other things on their website and they actually have one more aftershave that, that I don't have um, in the traditional aftershave form, but they have it, uh, I have it in their shave balm form. Now they have shave balms, which are basically just like a cream that goes on your skin, which is really nice. And uh, this is a 45th Parallel. 45th Parallel has a cherry, uh, almost almondy type of smell. Some say it's a little bit boozy. I could see that maybe a little bit. This is another one of those type of scents that I really want to smell like whenever I, whenever I wear an aftershave. It's really just really good. They have shave balms of all their line. They have shave soaps if you want to go check them out. Captain's Choice, go check them out. Really good, really good line. All right, next we're going to talk about Ogallala Bay Rum. Uh, that is the name of their com company and their aftershaves are all riffs on Bay Rum. And they are based in Ogallala, Nebraska. And they really took an old formula, uh, which is hundreds of years old, and they kind of revamped it and repackaged it. I really like their design as well. It's kind of like the Old West style. 
and they really go after that type of theme, which I think is really cool. Now, as I said, their line is kind of riffs on the same Bay Rum. So they have the original Bay Rum, and then all of the other ones are kind of like flankers. So Bay Rum and Vanilla adds, you know, vanilla. So it's like a Madagascar type vanilla, uh, very warm and rich, smells fantastic, smooths out a lot of the roughness that is in Bay Rum. Some people really like that, I do too. The vanilla, I think, just adds kind of just an extra hint of softness and uh, just a warmth and sweetness to it, which I think is really nice here too. If you're a fan of vanilla, um, Bay Rum and vanilla is just excellent. If you're a fan of traditional type of uh, aftershaves, the original Bay Rum I think is the way to go. But they have more. Um, they have Bay Rum and Sandalwood, which has a really nice sandalwood note on here. Then they have Bay Rum, Sage, and Cedar. It has even more of an herbal green quality and woody quality, which again goes really well with Bay Rum. It's just a really fantastic one. If you like woody, green, coniferous, uh, forest type of uh, scents, I think the Bay Rum, Sage and Cedar is really good. Sandalwood, of course, if you like sandalwood, I think that's really good too. All right, now they have also Bay Rum and Sweet Orange and then Bay Rum, Limes, and Peppercorn. Sweet Orange has a really bright, sweet orange scent on top. It goes really well together. The Limes and the Peppercorn are also really good. Um, it is a little bit less prominent to me than with the Sweet Orange. The Sweet Orange has a really noticeable orange right off the top, whereas this is more subtle. Of course, we'll have links down below to Ogallala Bay Rum as well, so you can go check them out. All right, so next I wanna talk about a line that I'm really thrilled about, and that is Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. Now, of course, I mentioned them in my previous video about top five aftershaves, and they had two in there that I really like, and that was Garden of Bali and Agarta. Uh, really quickly about the line, I actually met the owner, Douglas Smythe, at StyleCon the last time I went there. I talked to him briefly because I knew he was into aftershaves, and he gave me a bottle of uh, fragrance that he had called Baby Maker on the spot. I thought that's such a nice uh, gesture on his part, like what a nice guy. And so I reached out to him about this, and he sent me a ton of different aftershaves. I mean, just a really terrific guy. What I'm really thrilled about, though, is his line. His line, he uses uh, perfumery techniques to make aftershaves. So they're not just like afterthoughts, they're actual like perfumes. And he deliberately blurs the line between cologne and aftershave. So a lot of what he makes, you can use as a cologne. Sometimes aftershaves can be seen as a waste of money because uh, you don't wanna put on a fragrance before you put on your fragrance. <laughs> but what I like about his line is that they're really inexpensive. They're $25 for 100 mil. And if you look at that from a price of a cologne, that's really inexpensive. And also his aftershaves have no parabens and sulfates and no bad stuff like that that you're supposed to not have. So he doesn't have those, but he also puts in things like aloe and menthol, rose water, and um, other things that help your skin. Uh, really cool. And he has, I think, over 100 in his line, just an incredible breadth of uh, variety in his line. I don't have all of those, I have several. And then I have several uh, samples that I haven't even gotten to try. Like here's all the samples that I have here. Okay, so really briefly, talking about Garden of Bali, as I mentioned, really fantastic scent. Uh, it has a really citrusy, salty, watery feel, just a really fantastic scent. And obviously, Agarta, another one of my favorites, a soft woody fragrance that has sandalwood and um, some spice in there, ambergris, um, just a really terrific soft woody scent. It's, it's a really good aftershave. Now he also has a Bay Rum, Classico Bay Rum. Now I, I have a couple of Bay Rums here and uh, those are really good. This one is also really good. Now I know that the owner considers himself a Bay Rum aficionado, uh, a connoisseur of Bay Rums, and this really is one of the best ones. I just like the Ogallala one a little bit better. If you don't like the sharp edges of the traditional Bay Rum style, I think you could go with this one. It's a little bit softer, uh, really nice. Sundown is another one that I believe is one of his newer ones. And Sundown is a take on a, an aftershave that Gillette made in the 60s for just a really short time, about six years. That was called Sun Up. It was a really classic, uh, strong, masculine, musky 
uh, scent, just old school goodness. He says it is in the aqua velva vein. Some of the ingredients are talc, oak moss, uh, petty grain, lemon bergamot, lavender, rose, musk, clary sage, sandalwood, and some menthol in there too. Now this one really isn't my thing necessarily, but I think it's a really good classical uh, manly type of smell. So definitely give that a shot if you like that. Oh boy, here's a fragrance that I think a lot of people in the fragrance community are really gonna love, Sacra de Drago. Um, this one is uh, sandalwood and oud and tobacco. A really fantastic dark uh, scent that I think a lot of people who like those styles of fragrances are really gonna love. I mean, look how dark this stuff is. Definitely, I really liked wearing this when I tried it. Oh man, so dark and woody, really good. Next is Cad, and Cad, it says on the top, is a classic barbershop scent, and it definitely is classic. What this really reminds me of is Brute, but as if Brute were good. It's a really good, dark, deep, sharp type of green scent. Um, it's, it's a really good classical manly scent. If you like fougeres, definitely check out Deja Fougere. Um, I mean, a traditional fougere. It's got a lot of really good things in there. Lavender, uh, pineapple, bergamot, clary sage, geranium, heliotrope, rose, coumarin, oak moss, tobacco, hay, vanilla. It's really got a lot of stuff in there, but it's just a really well done fougere scent. If you like lavender or if you like dark scents or any of the above, definitely check out Deja Fougere. Now he also has a sandalwood fragrance. Um, it doesn't really smell like the, uh, the sandalwood that I'm used to. Now he has Hawaiian sandalwood in here, which I'm sure smells different. And so it doesn't have that traditional type of sandalwood smell and flavor that I'm used to, but it's still really good. It's a nice kind of sharp woody scent. Nonetheless, still a really good scent in the woody realm. And if you like sandalwood, check this one out. Last but not least is Enya. And I almost put this in my, uh, my last video. It was tied between that and Garden of Bali. This one is a citrus and cedar scent and it's <clears throat> exactly like you imagine it to be. It's got a really bright citrus top. Uh, I think there's lemon and grapefruit in there. And the cedar is really well done. One of my favorites, and I'm definitely gonna be using this up. <laughs> if you like a lot of the classic uh, citrusy scents, especially like Italian style citrus scents, definitely give this a chance. This is uh, really, really good. Phoenix Arizona Accoutrements also sells samples as I've shown before. I see one in here called Cavendish, which I believe is a pipe tobacco, which that really kind of makes me fragrance horny. So I definitely want to try that one. <laughs> so that's all I have for this video. Thanks for watching again. I'll have links down below to all of the scents that I mentioned and to the websites where you can go and check them out. Definitely go check Ogallala Aftershaves, Captain's Choice Aftershaves, and Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. I think you will really, really like what you see. And of course, if you're into wet shaving and aftershaves, let me know what your favorite aftershaves are down below. I'd love to hear them. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. I'll love you for it. I'll see you next time. I'm Dave with the Fragrance Pros. Bye. Thanks everyone for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to check out my other channel, Beast May Reviews, where me and a friend review high quality products for men. You might like it. Go check it out.